It's nice to have you back here in this new video. Today is a launch day of the Insta360 Flow. You might have already watched my previous episode about the, the first impression unboxing the sound sample cinematic footage that's been captured with the Insta360 Flow. I do have more exciting new features to share with you, especially the hoop mode. The hoop mode is designed dedicated for basketball players. I have never, I have never experienced such great shooting style on any other gimbal stabilizers. And this hoop mode does differentiate the Insta360 flow from any other competitors in the market. And coming next in this video, I'm gonna take out my Insta360 flow to the basketball court to capture some sample shot to explain to you what on earth is hoop mode. Why is it so magic to shoot with hook mode, especially when you enjoy your basketball game with your friends? Now let's get started and dive right in. My name is Yuxin Guo. My YouTube channel is dedicated to 360 photography, video accessories, and some culinary technology. Before we take out for shooting, just want to share with you a great accessory that Insta360 has never think about on Insta360 flow. I will give you a top down shot the magical cloth designed by uh, Ulanzi. So with the magical cloth, it is very simple and elegant to fit your gimbal stabilizer inside this magical cloth. I think it's even better than the plastic transparent in the back. <laughs> very simple. It looks like it is a normal cloth. This is my Insta360 Flow, the phone clamp, and the spotlight. It fit nicely in, the, in this package. It looks like it is a normal accessory, but when you clamp, when you put the upside down, put them together, it's like a magical sticker. Take a look. It's like a magical sticker. So you can fit your, I mean, you can fit your Insta360 flow. Right in the middle, put the spotlight, wrap around, and you are good to go. This is a must-have accessory for Insta360 flow. And this is something that Insta360 engineers have never thought about. I mean, when you finish your shooting with the Insta360 Flow, just wrap, fold, and put them in the middle of the magical class. Now you can start for your next journey. Just look how simple and magical it is. Get your hands on hook mode is really easy. Here I'd like to share with you a live screen share. I just choose the hoop mode and automatically align align the basketball hoop align in the center that best match the real world. Here I use the joystick to move around align with the basketball and hit on track. Now it's been tracked automatically for me and coming next it will automatically detect the basketball and show you around because I was shooting in the full basketball court, so I just, just, just sometimes we lost track of the basketball. But when the player basketball players uh, went back into the game, now it's working. Uh, and the, the phone, the app, we automatically detect whether the player score a game or not, and quickly identified and displayed on the top corner for my basketball game. So my friends, I are all amateur players, so it's not that exciting, just just like the, the professional games. But anyway, we really enjoy ourselves while shooting with the hoop mode because this is the first time that the photographer, the videographer behind the match could really join the game and enjoy the shooting with the rest of the friends. I mean, shooting with hoop mode does save you a lot of time, especially when you want just cut out the highlight during the basketball game. I have captured the basketball game for around 20 minutes, and these are all the highlights that the app can automatically select and trim for me in real time. I mean, when I stop recording in the hoop mode, I end up with all of these highlights. These are all the highlights. Either you score a game or, you know, there's something interesting might happen in, in this content scenarios. Take a look. Let's score three points. Take a look. If I go back to the clips, I didn't even notice that I have captured 
such an amazing shot in a long video. So this is definitely great. I mean, the Deep Tracks 3.0 works just like, just like a magic. Take a look. This one even is not scored, but oh yeah, it scored, it scored late, later. And if you fit all of these highlights into your template, this is gonna end up with, take a look. We have stories, we can create a story, and we can add all of the highlights. Tab. Never mind. These are all the clips I've captured. 33 highlights. Next. Flash cut. And let let AI trim, sort, and add music for you. Let's experience what AI could do for you. I mean, Insta360 Flow already have did a great job, but let's take a look at what, what AI performs for us. Optimizing the clip size, processing. Take a look. We do have different video lens options. Let's take, we want this uh, short processing. And let's has been save. If you look back, we go to the draft, take a look, and we might probably choose another delete, add another music. I want something that more dramatic. Are you familiar with the sound? We might even add some filters. We can add filter that's very specific. With a clip, take a look. We can add filters. Uh, perhaps we can add outdoors, surfing, or sports, diving, cycling. Is this, this? I mean, this one looks pretty nice. And apply to all, and you're good to go. And next one, we can hit on export. But you do have plenty of options. You should. Definitely get your hands on this. Uh, can customize a resolution 4040p, the best firm rate, highest bit rate. And we can turn on, I, I don't want to turn on Color Plus. Hit on export. And you are good to go. You know, Intel 360 app has the Apple Silicon acceleration in the background. So export 4040p videos directly in the app on the basis of iPhone, it's pretty fast. I mean, it's fast. give you a summary, a wrap up on the hook mode. So what, what on earth, what on earth is the hook mode? The hook mode is a very special feature that comes only with the Insta360 flow. Behind the scenes is the Deep Track 3.0. I mean, for the Deep Track 3.0, it will automatically detect and track multiple objects at the same time. For example, in the hook mode, the first time you align with the hook and the top half of your video automatically detect and track the basketball in the frame. Uh, once you get lost the track of the basketball, this flow gimbal stabilizer can automatically recenter to the basketball hoop. So that you say with the Deep Track 3.0, it literally could track multiple subjects at the same time. This is pretty unique and pretty insane. If you're ever shooting with the hoop mode, hoop mode will automatically detect and track this match actively. You don't have to you don't have to handheld the shooting while falling. You just join the game, play basketball with your friends, and it will automatically save and trim the highlights in your gallery. So when you off the match, you end up with multiple highlights that ready for post-processing, ready for your work editing right on your phone. So this is pretty unique. It saves you a lot of time and effort. Let's make content creating 
and make highly editing more accessible. But after trying and error with the hook mode, I do have something special to share with you, aka the, the tips and tricks. At the launch day of the Insta 360 Flow, the hook mode only support half curt match. So if you play a basketball in a full curt, just be careful with the hook mode because the Insta 360 Flow is not capable to track the basketball moving really fast. I do hope they can add this feature in the, in the firmware upgrade that can automatically track the full curved basketball game. And next one, make sure that basketball hoop is clearly visible for the deep track 3.0 to catch the track and lock the subject in the frame as a reference object. And I have also come across with some errors while enjoying with hoop modes, especially when the basketball player tried the slam dunk. Sometimes the Insta360 flow get some errors for slam dunks. It, it, maybe they are not that accessible at this moment. Always shoot with plenty of light. Uh, for, but for iPhone camera, the, the sensor, the sensor for the main camera is really large. So I have never come across with light problem. We usually have plenty of light on basketball court, especially we pay for, for the basketball court. The manager will open all of light for us because we pay the money for it. This deep track 3.0, the track multiple objects at the same time required a lot of resource and energy. So it is currently only available on iPhone 13 or above. And at this, at this moment, try to use the basketball with a standard color, not colorful, not black, but with the, the conventional brown color. That will guarantee you get the best performance after the behind the hook mode. Even though that hook mode does make mistakes sometimes, a great feature that we can only expect on Insta360's company. Uh, and this hook mode really differentiate the three axis phone gimbal stabilizer Insta360 Flow from any other competitors. I, that is the reason why, even though it's not perfect, it's far from perfect, but I feel excited about the hook mode because, because I have never seen such innovative features that comes being packed in the gimbal stabilizer and your phone. So with the Insta360 Flow, your phone, your gimbal works harmoniously together to deliver some really advanced and unique features for you to experience uh, in the near future. And I do hope that Insta360 engineers keep working to revolutionize their deep track 3.0 to make it even better that to be adaptive to more of our uh, everyday sports action scenarios that still deliver much better workflow experience uh, in the near future. It is really necessary to share with you the great feature and uh, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next time. Bye.